Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, what you're looking at are the approval ratings of the Congressional Black Caucus, or the Black Congressional Caucus. Alright, I did talk about the horrible approval ratings of Kamala Harris and Jim Crow Joe. They were very bad. I mean, they were down the toilet, and I guess we could say the same for the Congressional Black Talkers, the Congressional Black Caucus. What you're looking at is the approval rating when it comes to things like handling reparations and the caucus itself overall. And right now, and this is by the black participants of this poll, I mean, how does the black people view the Black Congressional Caucus. And we're going to talk about what is the possible reasons for these approvals or disapproval ratings. When it comes to just handling the reparations topic, which is the, we've been, been talking about, when it comes to just handling black, foundational black Americans getting reparations, the approval rating is 27. Those are those people who are supporting the H.R. 40 bill, which they have given up on. But the smarter people, um, the disapproval rating is at 71%. So 27 approve their handling of reparations, 71% disapprove. Now, the overall, as in the, what the Congressional Black Caucus has been doing overall, only 35 people support what they're doing overall, while 62% disapprove. And this is not white people. This is not black. I mean, I mean, it is black people. This is not Asians. This is not white people. This is just from black people alone. This is from black people alone, the ones who did the poll, and basically black people in general. And the reason why for these approval and disapproval is because the Congressional Black Caucus has not done enough to get policies done to help specifically black people. Their handling of reparations was is atrocious. It is a piece of garbage. That HR 40 is a nothing burger anyway, but they just gave up on it. But they were they passed bills for Asians for the academy, for immigrants, but nothing for black people. See, that's the reason why they got these these approval ratings. And they're terrible for the Congressional Black Caucus, that is. But this is what happens when the Congressional Black Caucus decides to do absolutely nothing for black people. For national black Americans. And now, if... More people see this if the Congressional Black Caucus does not do something about this and start doing stuff for black people. Expect these disapproval ratings to go up. Expect the approval ratings to go down. And even worse, for the Congressional Black Caucus, expect a lot of them to be voted out of office or to the point that they'll be forced to retire because they know that they don't have the support to um be reelected or maybe they just want to retire we know that that's already happening with uh bobby rush as i found out he is expecting possible retirement he's not seeking re-election is it because he wants to retire because of his age and he's been there for so long or he knows that he's not ha does not have the support that he used to anymore So, this is all on the Congressional Black Caucus, the or the Black Congressional Caucus, whatever you call them. You have you were supposed to be created to help the benefit, help the community out, make sure that the government passed policies to help the community, the Black community, and you have done none of that. Black Congressional Congress on caucus, so I bet you some of them see these approval ratings and disapproval ratings and probably get mad at us 
for why we don't support them. And then we'll be like, well, what have you done lately for our community? You've done everything for other communities. What have you done for our community? That's what we would tell them. And then we'll tell them, and that's why and he's like, and that's why we will show them why their approval ratings are not good. These are not good approval ratings for the Black Congressional Congress, and they deserve this to happen to them. You have to start doing stuff for your people in order to get the support. You're lucky to get the 27 and the 35% approval. You're at risk of losing this eventually if you keep on not doing anything for black people. So, yep. The Black Congressional Caucus approval ratings are bad. Very bad right now. And they can get even worse. I sense they will get even worse over time if they do not do something to help black people. And I know some of the bootlicks, some of the demon, demon, demon dummies, the demon rats, the Congressional Black Caucus fanboys and fangirls are probably going to come over here and troll me say all kinds of nasty things about me and about this this approval ratings chart and which who they will be blocked and their comments removed but I have to tell you what have they done lately like that Janet Jackson song what have you done for me lately what have you done for our community lately that's why your approval ratings are not good black congressional caucus but that's all I have to say about this video, uh, about these approval ratings. I want to know what y'all think in the comment section about these approval ratings. Do you think that they deserve to be higher or lower? And I'm talking about for both the approval and disapproval. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll leave a link to this for you all to look at at your own time. Um... I'll also leave links to my different accounts for you to follow me on. Uh, but that's all I have to say for now. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.